Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're going to check out some cool updates from Adobe After Effects 2023. So let's check the first one. You can recolor all of your keyframes. So it has a couple of new features. I'm going to right click. Check this out. Select keyframe label group. And we got like on selected layers. It's going to select on the specific layer every keyframe or or select on all layers with the set that is basically with the same color. Right now we don't have that. So I'm going to select them on the selected layers. I'm going to right click. And if you go to the labels, you can recolor these. I'm going to select cyan. I think these are also with cyan. I'm going to, for example, right click on one, select keyframe label and on all layers. Yes, exactly. So both are cyan. You can also customize the colors, right click, you go to label and edit label colors. And here you can change up the colors and also the names. You can also hop through keyframes one by one with the J and the K, but then check this out. If you select a layer, for example, the one with the size, I'm going to press shift plus J or K and it's going to hop on that specific layer. And there's also a really nice update going on with the track mats. So check this out. If you go to the toggle switch, it's going to show me the track mat options. And now we got track mat pick whips. So for example, we got this animated shape right here. I'm going to uncheck it right now. I'm going to activate the text. This is some random animated text, by the way. What I'm going to do is go to the text and select the pick whip and drag it to the shape layer that we created. And it's going to mask it. Now, back in the days, you needed to create a lot of shape layers for every each of uh, the fonts or whatever you wanted to use. But now we got this pick width. And for example, I want to change the font. Let's say we got another animation or I don't, this is not even an animation. So anyways, I got this font. I'm going to drag with the pick width to the shape layer. And there you go. And last but not least, there's a really, really good update. I'm going to press control M to render and check this out. We got H.264. So this means that you don't have to export in AV or QuickTime pay Player anymore. And we got the MP4. These are like small file sizes. So mainly these was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of these videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.